The campaign. Conrad, make sure the uh, video system's on. I want the whole company to hear this. It's on, sir. Carry on, Gray. The campaign exudes nostalgia, comedy, thrill, excitement, and cutting edge fashion all under one banner. It appeals to a wide demographic and leads the consumer with an emotional end benefit of feeling charged up to challenge themselves and seize the day and be the best they can be. <laughs> Well, Julia, and I must say, you look fantastic. What do you think? Great, no? No. N n no? No. Well, it's, a, it's, it's a just an initial proposal. I mean, it still needs to be tweaked and tuned. You only tweak or tune if something has potential. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go back to the drawing board then, that's all. Why don't you call me when you have something original to present? Julie, I'm sure we have a bunch of things. Shut that thing off. I'm sure we have a bunch of things and this is just one of them. What's wrong with you? That was crap. Julie, Julia, just a sec. <laughs> See, the consumer is left to think of nothing but C Pro. B Pro. What? B Pro. You said C Pro. I did? Yeah, yeah, you said C Pro. I'm very sorry. Would you excuse me for a minute? I have to get a glass of water. Take your time. We'll be back in just one minute. I'll I'm not doing fine. I'm the Titanic. No. Yes. You, you just gotta, you gotta get focused. You gotta center yourself and you gotta march back in there and you show them who's the boss. Who's the boss? I hated that show. I love Alyssa Milano. I don't like Tony Danza and Judith Light had really weird here, but Alyssa Milano had- Wait! You gotta focus. Focus, okay? You gotta get out of your head and get into your body. Get out of your head and into your body. Get out of your head and into your body. Get out of your head, 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 get out of your head and into your body. Take a deep breath, feel your feet on the ground. Center yourself. And go. Go. Give me a P. Give me an R. Give me an O. What's that spell? B Brown. <laughs> Lana, what the hell are you doing? I promoted Miss Valentine to creative executive on the Bartlett account because I thought it would be best to show Julia two perspectives. You mean the one of her tits and the one of her ass? Great. I'm sure that Lana has 36 double D ideas for the account. Now I'll, I'll just give you your privacy to fondle through them. <laughs> you wanted to see me? Oh, yeah, great. Seems Julia wasn't thrilled with the way our last presentation went. Why don't you go ahead and fire me? Because I don't need to be embarrassed or humiliated or patronized anymore. Well, actually, I was going to give you a promotion, but on second thought... What? I asked Jordan to make you the executive creative director on my account and to give you free reign to do whatever you want. Carrie told me that the cheerleader idea was yours. I think you have great ideas. You just haven't been given the freedom to explore them fully. I like your energy, your spunk, your candidness and I think with the right support you're gonna give me exactly what I'm looking for. Wow, I don't know what to say. Sorry to interrupt Gray, but your 12 o'clock meeting with Brother Electronics is in the small conference room. Oh, I don't have a 12 o'clock meeting with Brother Electronics. They said they confirmed it with your office. Please, go ahead, I don't want to hold you up. Thank you so much, you will not be sorry. Thank you, Mr. Phillips, I will not let you down. Hey. 
So you forgot your toothbrush. And I figured the toothbrush is part hard, part soft bristles. It must be hard to come by. Is that all? You just came to give me my toothbrush? And to say I'm sorry. I, I overreacted. A little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. I mean, after all, you have to admit it's a, it's a pretty exceptional situation, right? <gasps> On the other hand, I'm not quite sure why I could so surprise, because if you think about it, it's almost inevitable that you and I would end up liking the same girl, isn't it? <gasps> you're acting... You're acting very rational. It's too rational. I used to do this when we were kids, and I'd turn around, you'd tackle me to the ground. I think I should be getting my knees in the lockdown position. You're great. Well, you know, you're not just my sister. You're my best friend. You know that, right? Being without you, I feel like one half of me is missing. Lately, I've been feeling very lopsided. Sam. You know, just because you're totally gay and in love with my wife doesn't mean we can't work things out. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Ooh, now this is good! 